Okay, today we're looking at the uh, Samsung Series 5 Chromebook. This is the uh, $450 unit. Um, it's got 4 gig of RAM. Let's go ahead and turn it on for you. 12.1 inch display. And we'll let it boot. You can see that booted up really quick. Okay, let me just get back to the desktop background. The screen uh, has good color. Um, it's got a little taskbar down here like you'd expect to see on a Windows machine or something. Um, you've got a, a, an application pane here, I guess you'd call it. Uh, as you install Chrome-based web apps, uh, you can find them here. All right, this is a YouTube. Let's just go to YouTube real quick. And one of the things that we notice about this particular machine is uh, how loud the volume goes. Um, you know, a lot of the smaller machines, a lot of times the volume um, tends to break up or gets real tinny as you turn them up. Uh, and this unit does, uh, does turn up quite loud. Okay, so it's, it's plenty loud enough uh, to hear. It's definitely a lot better than many of the little netbooks that are out and about. Okay, and you can see the video is really smooth and fluid, um, so there are no issues there. Uh, that seems that seems fine. Uh, one of the things I would suggest is if you were um, considering one of these Chromebooks, you might want to go to the Chrome Web Store, and you can do this on your PC or your Mac, and check out what they have available for applications now. Um, you know, you need to find things that are going to work to replace the traditional apps um, if you're coming from a PC or a Mac. Uh, you know, obviously Google Docs for your word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations. But uh, you know, there are a lot of other a lot of other apps out here. So I would, and they've got them categorized: business tools, education, entertainment. You can also do a search. Um, so let me just go ahead and fire up one of the web apps here. This one's pretty neat, um, and I think that this is available for you know phones and tablets as well. So many of you have already seen this probably. Okay, this is just the, the human body, so you can, you know, use this for anatomy or biology and various things. Uh, but it's really fluid, you know, you can grab grab the skeleton, move it all around. It's not hitchy, it's not delayed. Um, so, in that respect, this uh, this little machine is quite impressive. So, there you have it. We're waiting, uh, waiting for the $250 unit to come in. It should be in in the next couple weeks. Uh, it's an 11.6 inch screen, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, but it's also a $200 savings. So when we get that in, I'll make a little video and link, link up to it here and uh, let you know how they stack up. Thanks.